Welcome to Madison Seminary, located in Madison, Ohio. Madison Seminary has become one of the most popular paranormal locations in the U.S. This beautiful historic building previously functioned as a school, hospital, and housing for the families of those killed in the American Civil War. Nowadays, a gold mine for capturing paranormal activity. Let's explore. Welcome back, explorers. What's up, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for being here once again. Uh, we definitely appreciate all the support. Uh, where are we at tonight, guys? Madison Seminary. That's, That's right. right. Very excited to be here. My first time. My first time. Located in Madison, Ohio, guys. Uh, great place. Uh, let's give a shout out to our tour guide and Paul Horvath, who was here earlier. Uh, we actually did a split off. Uh, these two went alone, Cody and Zach, and then me and Paul did our thing. And check out that clip real quick. All right, Explorers, got me and Paul here. And we have decided to split up. Cody and Zach are on one side, and me and Paul here are on the Civil War side. Here at Madison Seminary, Madison, Ohio. Yep. And we are trying to see what we can capture tonight together and hopefully capture some good stuff. We had a really good few hits on the just basic walkthrough. So hoping we can kind of recreate that and make stuff happen. Hopefully get someone to talk to us. <coughs> Hello, spirits. I didn't get to formally introduce myself. My name's Tyler. I've been here before, so it's glad. I'm really glad to be back. It's good to speak with you all again. Love the building. Would love to hear from you tonight. Definitely join me and Paul, uh, Cody and Zach, all good people, good intentions. We bring love and peace and, yeah, thank you. You spike in that cat ball, nice. You didn't touch that, did you? I did not touch Dude, that. Dude, that's crazy. Isn't that great? They never have that happen. <laughs> Appreciate that. I have Thank couple, you. I have a couple. I have a cat ball out in the hallway. You can play with that. All you have to do is just touch it. Just like the one in here. It all just lights up for us. That was really nice. Thank you. So you, you like the equipment. You obviously know how to use it. <laughs> so you can see how to flash it. Appreciate it. You got another one? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently Grandpa hangs out in this area. Grandpa? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering what the low down was here. Down, down. What's this exit about? Do you know? Huh. You know what that's about? I mean, it's some sort of game. Anybody down here is me and Zach? Cody's here now. It's me. I'm happy to be here. I was running behind, but I drove a long way to come and see you. So that's the whole room? The whole? Yeah. Wow. I'm following everybody. I can see why it's called the whole. Yeah. I got Cody here with me. Me and Zach. What's the... So apparently what happened was, I think... They dug up because they thought there was a body in there because there was like they did like the uh, underground like the uh, underground thing. Wow. So. So this is the Civil War side of the building, and at one time we know that this was actually a classroom, and this is where they taught the students when the first when the building first opened. If there's anyone in here tonight that'd like to speak with us, please feel free to speak loudly. We have ways of hearing to you. Again, my name is Paul. And I'm Tyler. And it's an honor to be here with you guys tonight. Thank you for allowing me in. And thank you for communicating and talking with us. We definitely appreciate each and every one of you here. So we'd love to walk around and get your story and kind of hear from you all. That's why we're here. We're here for you. We love talking with you. We love to hear about your past and what happened here in this building and all that good stuff. And Paul, he's a great guy. I'm sure you guys know Paul very well here. Paul's a really good friend of mine. 
We've been friends for quite a while now. And it's an honor working with Paul. I really like Paul, so I'm glad you guys that. like him too. I appreciate that. They, they should be familiar with me. I'm actually a member of the Cat Ball and the Holloway Off. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, nice. I'm a member of the MAD crew here at Madison Seminary. I help with the tours. I help with the guides, so they are familiar with who I am. Thank you very much for moving that around. We appreciate that. You're definitely interacting with those cat balls. <laughs> Thank you guys, we appreciate you. And nor Tyler or, our, or I are moving around as far as footsteps. No, so stationary. Can, Haven't moved to us. Any type of movement from us. The cat ball in the hallway is going off again. Thank you. Wow. If you want to stay in the hallway, that's perfectly fine. We can understand that. Yep. We don't want to force you to come in. We want you to have your space. We understand. You know, it's been a while since you've seen me, so I can understand. You know, you want some space. Is there anybody in here with me and Zach? He has this device in his hand. If you'd like to come and touch it, all you're going to do is come up to this little black box. The closer you get, the more the colors will change. Can you do that for us? Or can you make a noise? Spike a little bit. If you've been around here for a long time, was there a, ba a body buried in this hole around here? Cody, a little tour. Feel free to follow us if you'd like. Oh, I thought I saw that door move a little bit. I think it's just a shadow. Um, what's that pan? Jesus, it's dark. So, this is the laundry room. Oh. Thank you for letting me be here. Is there anybody in here with me and Zach? Doing their laundry. Um, did you watch the Destination Fear episode? I feel like I did, but it was a while. Those were Chelsea Slip and they've seen the shadow go across the window. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's all the dirt they dug up from the hole. So I appreciate you lighting these up. That definitely means a lot. Tell you what, I have this device. If I could find the switch to it. There's a plasma ball. Nope, oh, there's that again. And as you guys see, there's this floor is really solid. Like, even if you did Does that plasma make this K2 jump? No, shouldn't. You try it. Never. It only had a couple. It only spiked up once. Yeah, it does, oh, make, it it does go, make it spike. I, if I go right to it. Right, it's got to be right on it. Yeah, I was going to say, this thing don't have much power. Right. That cat ball is going wild in the hallway. I can't see. I do, have a heated, I do have a heated coat on, so if you see the light on my chest, I'm kind of keeping it covered with my hand. All right, guys. So thank you for using the cat balls. And here, I'm going to test this, guys. I'm going to move around, see if that cat ball goes off. As you see my feet, I am moving around very, pretty hard. Well, why don't you go out and walk, walk around it or walk by the cat ball? Yep. And see if you can actually just move around it. Whew. I got a weird feeling out here, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're everywhere. You, you guys out here? Sorry, I didn't mean to come out on you. I can't even see the cat ball. Do this thing. So let me light this up, guys, so you guys see. There it is. Right there. And as you see, look at all this movement. Nothing. Thank you guys. We appreciate you using these cat balls. 
We have other devices that you can use. Now we can really get to know you, and we know you're here, so thank you. Tell you what, I got this K2 here. Lights up. I'm sure you've seen them, especially with Paul. I'm sure he uses them. Can you guys hear me okay and see me okay? Can you light this green light up here, this K2 meter, if you can hear me and see me okay? It has multiple lights. You can go from, I kept all the hallways going off. Um, it goes from yellow, green to yellow to red. Don't be shy. All you have to do is come close to it. Just let us know you're present. We're not here to hurt you. We're not here to bother you. Yeah. we just like to communicate with you tonight. We're just trying to see that you're really here and uh, we can really get a feel for each other and get to know each other. But we got to know that you're, you're present and you see us. So this plasma ball here, I'm not sure if you guys know how to use this, but... Get on the hallway went off again. You guys like this thing? If so, you can use it. All you got to do is touch it. You can drain it, use the energy, whatever you need to. That's all yours. Everything I got here is for you. Thank you for using the cat ball in the hallway. Is there anybody down here with us? We're going to be here all night. We will be. We just want to communicate and give you a voice. Can you see us? Can you make a noise if you can see us? Hey guys, back again. I have Cody here. He finally joined us. That's me. Wow. This place is pretty spooky. Uh, this was the welcome. This was the what? The welcome room. Oh wow. They brought people here. It's pretty crazy. This is terrifying. Wow. I can feel the intimidation. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna close the door? Sure. Anybody in here with me? Hey guys, we're in the mirror room. It's actually a little ball on the floor. Hey Zach. Yeah. What's the story on it in here? What, do you know the story? No, they basically built it. They hand built it. Really? So there's no, like, actual... No, they built it for, like, you know, um, portal type things. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So, so it could be used for anything. Yeah. That's what you're saying. They call it, 
the devil's toy box. Wow, interesting. We definitely could do a session in there. Yeah. A good one. Close the door. So, they make rules. Only one person in a box at a time. <laughs> If you are prone to seizures and rap health issues that may cause issues due to reflections in light, you know. Wow. So, <laughs> interesting. It's crazy. I do have another cat ball here. I'm going to actually try something. I'm going to take this one and move it out to the one in the hallway. I'm going to come out in the hallway for you guys. I'm going to bring a second one out. You guys can play with that. I'm going to put it a little bit farther down than the first one. So you guys can play with that there. I'm going to go back in the room. Okay, I'm going to let that kick off real quick. I like that too. I like that bright. <laughs> right? That was bright. And then the first one goes off. As soon as those one oh, went off, that one went off. All right. Thank you. You guys like that. Now, for anybody who's not familiar with a cat ball is, it's just what it is. It's a toy the cats play with. It only lights up if there's any type of movement that touches it. There's no electronics that go with it as far as it lighting off like that. Um, so that's one of the tools that are now we see a lot more paranormal investigators using. Because, again, it doesn't go off unless it's touched or moved or brushed against. Mm -hmm. um, it takes a lot to make those go off. It, it, all they have to do is touch it, and it, it'll go off. I'm going to stand my K2 up right here. I like to actually refer to it as a light toy. And I'm sure some of you guys are not sure what those words K2 stand for. Right. That was me. I like light toys. Yeah, because, you know, to toys are fine. All you have to do is just go buy it and go ahead and make the light shine up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys like that in the hallway. <laughs> really impressive on that one in the hallway. Can you make the other one light up? The other cat ball right next to that one in the hallway, can you make that one light up? Can we see if you uh, can move both of them? I'll give you some time. Can you make that other cat ball light up? Can you light that up for us? Wait till you build up enough energy to touch it. That's fine with us. Yep. And you can use all these devices, take the energy from them to make your own. Whatever you got to do to make it easy for you. Those cat balls are definitely interesting. Like a plasma ball? Mm -hmm. All you have to do is come up to the plasma. Just come by it and just get real close. And you see how I can play with it. I made the light go around my finger. Now that won't hurt you guys. Nope, I'm not hurting in any way. It's actually kind of fun. It is very fun. And you guys can use it too. You can use all these tools. They're all toys for you guys. It helps us talk to you. Do you understand? Can you light up a cat ball if you understand what we're saying with these toys? Am I right by saying that this is a, that this was actually a classroom? Is this the room that they actually taught you in, or are we in the wrong room? It's not faint sounds. It seems it sounds like I hear someone talking. Those guys are on the other side of the building. Mm -hmm. There's no way it's them. Yeah, there's no way. It's all the way over there. Right. I didn't bring my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely need those. So I'm going to put this out in the hallway. Maybe we're just crowding the room for you. We just want you to try to use these. Uh, they really help us to know that you're here and you're actually using them for us. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now can you light it up? That little green light? All you gotta do is touch it and it'll start to change colors. Is that better for you? A little more space for you? Not as crowding in this room?
Wow. That is crazy. So where are they at? In a different building? Yeah, they're on the other side. The other side? Yeah. This is a kitchen? Mm-hmm. Some of these rooms will just draw you in. Right. All this stuff's donated too. Really? Okay, so none of this is like. No, none of this is. Original. Yeah. Wow. Ah, what's in here? Huh? What's in here? This looks spooky. Is there a woman in here? This is spooky. Yeah, that dress me in there. Wow. Old record player. If you can see us, make a noise. I'm kind of giving Cody the tour right now, so he here, here in a few we'll definitely settle down and try to talk to you. Yeah, I saw this. This guy's me out too. This is all donated though. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool. It's all a lot of very old items. You guys already get recordings of all this? Yeah. You guys already get recordings and stuff of all this? Uh, no, we didn't read the camera. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so here, so here's a story. Eleven, huh? Yeah. Something like here. Oh, that's 14. So, lady, I want to say her name was Blanchard. Uh, Blanchard? Yeah. Okay. Basically shot herself in the bed. This was Otis's room. Apparently Otis, uh, was not very nice to the females here, to the women, so he was kind of a mean guy. Um, that's why Paul, they said they wanted to, they wanted Paul to fix Otis's bed, and Otis said no, because he's disrespectful, so he's not, you know, doing, you know, fixing the bed at all, so. Yeah. Otis, are you here with us? I have Cody here. Hi, Otis. Would really like to know who we're talking to. Are you interested in telling us who you are? Can we give you a voice or something? We really want to know who you are. Or if there's many of you, you all are welcome to come join. Now we know when you guys are residents here, no one was allowed to bring any cameras in, and no one was able allowed to take any photos. But I can assure you that we got direct permission from the owner, Adam, that we are allowed to use this equipment. We are allowed to communicate with you guys. In the time that you lived here, we understand we know how tough it was for you. Yeah, you guys lived in rough conditions. A lot worse than what they are nowadays. So if anybody's upstairs, you can come down and speak with us as well. That's right. We welcome everybody. Nobody's excluded here. Thank you. Yeah. We welcome everybody. You go a little bit more, you can make that green light turn yellow. Yeah. And then you can get closer, you make it turn red. Can you touch the little green light and make it change colors? Anybody want to touch that for us? We really thank you for using these. It means a lot to us. It means that you hear us. You're communicating with us. And that's what we want. We just want to hear from you. Question, can you see us or can you hear us? I 
know Tyler and I are both actually kind of tall gentlemen. So I said, I don't mind coming down a little. <laughs> I'll nail it for you guys. Don't want anybody to feel intimidated just because we're tall. Showed you how sensitive those cat balls are. Mm -hmm. um, but for once, that in the hallway to go off, like, right. you were, you were jumping on it, so. look at that. That's me hitting the floor, and that thing is not moving. So, all movement in here is debunked. It's, it's definitely out there moving it. Are you still in the hallway? Can you give us a sign? Just kind of watching us, like, what the heck are these guys doing? Just for your record, Tyler, mm -hmm. uh, it was 823 when you were falling on the ground. Uh -huh. In case those guys possibly heard. Oh, uh, gotcha. And you, you, you had some. Good call. Saying, okay, that was me on the other side of the building. Yeah, good call. Absolutely. So I hate to remember that call. Like, oh, <laughs> right. Did you hear the pounding? <laughs> you ain't lying. Right. That would be awful. <laughs> right. Like, we caught the craziest stuff. <laughs> but again, there's only four people in the building tonight, so it's not like there's a lot of people in there. Right. So you guys like the cat balls out there. I want you to try this energy thing. I want to see if you can touch it. It's kind of just like the cat ball. See? You touch it, and this thing just starts going crazy. All the electric. And all this energy is for you. You can use this. Drain it. So I'm going to step away, give you your space. Can you touch it? Just kind of filling what you can use and what you can't. Trying to get used to what you can use and what you can't. We will only bring fun things to play with. We'll never bring anything to harm you. That's right. Our intentions are not to harm you in any way. Our intentions are just simply to talk to you. That's it. Hear you out, hear your story, who you are, why you're here, what you've been through, tell us everything. We could only imagine the life you lived. I'm sure you got stories for days. Far worse than any story I probably have. I'm sure you guys seen some stuff. And if you're not aware, it is the year of 2024. Long time has passed. And we want to let you know that your memory will not be forgotten. That's right. And that's why we do this, to give you a voice, to let you be heard, to know that you are still here. Do you understand that? Do you give us a sign that you understand what we're saying? <laughs> 